Ready for its final takeoff, the Space Shuttle Atlantis is on the launching pad at Cape Canaveral due to lift off tomorrow on a mission that will mark the very end of the entire shuttle program. But it's also time to remember the tragedies from missions past. From Cape Canaveral tonight, our Washington correspondent Sarah Smith has this report. T minus one day, and Atlantis waits patiently for the very last lift off. Hoping to boldly go tomorrow, but rain may well delay this final voyage. A feat of engineering excellence. The most complex machine ever built. The shuttle truly is a technological triumph. 40 years ago, they first had to work out how to get her up and back down, intact, ready to fly again, and carrying cargo back from space. Having a ship that big, that beautiful, being able to fly on it, it's just a very emotional thing. It's, I mean, it's quite an adrenaline rush when you launch and uh, getting it down to Earth and, and standing under this ship that was just going Mach 25 and screaming through the atmosphere, oh, we're going to miss that. And lift the shuttle was meant to make space travel cheap, easy and safe, but it never did, making only a fraction of the journeys intended, and two of the five shuttles were lost. Challenger, go and throttle up. The Challenger, exploding in the sky seconds after takeoff one frigid morning in 1986, killing all seven astronauts on board. Look at the chunks coming off of it. Yeah. And Columbia, burning up on re-entry in 2003, claiming another seven lives, including Laurel Clark, wife of NASA surgeon Jonathan Clark. Uh, both my son and I feel that the loss was worth it. You have to think back in the, in the eons of history of what um, the early um, explorers had to encounter. And if they turned back every time they lost somebody, just think of what we would be doing now. We would be, we would be a pitiful um, species. American astronauts are considered real-life superheroes, their travels in space inspiring generations of boys and girls. But now, to reach for the stars, these heroes will be reduced to hitching a ride on the Russian Soyuz rockets, feeling like second-class space citizens. When you add it all up, the shuttle program has cost more than all of the Apollo moon landings, the Manhattan Project that developed the atom bomb, and the digging of the Panama Canal put together. $196 billion in total. So the question is, was it worth the money? Without the shuttle, there would be no International Space Station, and the Hubble telescope would not be beaming back pictures from the early days of the universe. But the truth is, the shuttle never took us very far. Designed only to reach low Earth orbit, but never get near the moon, the stars, or even an asteroid. I, I'm glad that this uh, very risky and, uh, inter and expensive enterprise is, is behind us. The shuttle program is also a millstone around uh, NASA's neck. I mean, it is so expensive that NASA has been unable to get onto many other things that they should get onto. Things like putting people on Mars, still NASA's dream, but plans to try to get there or even back to the moon have been cancelled for being far too expensive. Sarah Smith at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.